In a previous video, I explained how to use GraphSCAD to build a parametric part with OpenSCAD. Today, I will import this OpenSCAD file and I'll save it first. Today I will import this OpenSCAD file into FreeCAD there we go and I will use the path toolset to make the CNC path starts with a path here and you will get a bunch of tools come up this one is create job that's what you want and my base model is the difference I want to create a box I don't and the uh, height is going to be 26 millimeter that's the height of my stock so as you can see my stock is taller the very bottom is where it will cut out uh, the output will be Linux CNC and the output file and set it up right now So I, I'm good to go now I need to set up a tool and I have I will I'll choose this uh, single flute 32 millimeter cutter and create a tool controller for it okay and now I can def erase the default tool now when you set up a tool, as you can see my cutter is this long, no problem cutting through it. Uh, as you set up a tool, you need to set up speeds. So I have my units set up for millimeters per minute. Um, so you have to be very careful about that because the default for FreeCAD is millimeters per second. Um, so um, set it up for uh, one meter per minute and um, 0 0.400 millimeters per minute here. Um, that's it for the tool. And uh, now the operations, uh, which up, oh, which operation to start? Well, let's see the f top front view, top view. This is my top here. As you can see, all the three, all the faces highlight. Um, so I need to create a facing operation to remove the first material. I will choose the base geometry. So I need this control. Make you select different things, and then add. So my faces here are all there. Um, that's what I want. My depth. I can set it. I have to override. So this is override. Um, I set my depth to uh, uh, 12 millimeter because my cutter uh, can take much more uh, and the up 
operation will be zigzag at zero degrees and see what happens so it does make a facing of the whole thing but it doesn't go over here so it doesn't it doesn't uh, it does compensate for the tool um, let's see if we can make it so we don't compensate for the tool okay so I can compensate for the tool here make it a little bigger so um, let's make it two millimeter bigger half the width of the blade and uh, see what happens yeah that's perfect for me so that's my first operation now I need to pocket these two so I need to set the pocket operation and I need to select the base geometry which this one is already selected and now I select this one uh, um, so add, uh, I selected 50 twice so uh, remove this one I, I don't want to dig in too fast into this so I'll choose uh, six millimeter. This will be out of wood, so no problem. And the operation, a spiral with 50%. So I over overlap. And um, let's see what happens. Okay, so. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna work out well if I make a simulation of this you will see that it will not cut exactly what I want so it's doing my facing now I have like corners left out because of the shape of the tool so I have to make an extra um, an extra step to remove this extra material so I need to make a profile from based on the face I need to select the depth can be done pretty fast uh, 12 millimeter should be all right and the operation nothing to do here and apply so as you can see we ca as we cannot see we won't be able to see the um, the output here basically because my operation overlaps uh, the other one so I need this and I need to make a path path dress up dog bone and if you see the dog bone makes a little um, little uh, incursion into my uh, my stock here a little, a little net and now so I need to change this to have to go straight here so let's see what the simulation makes and uh, should cut everything path cam simulator and play so there that's gone uh, now I need to make another operation which is the contour and the inside I press space bar to remove the cut material here. Uh, okay, so I need make a profile from a face, and I'm going to use 
these three faces. Again, I'm pressing Control to select multiple faces and add them. Now, in the operation, I need to uh, cut outside and I need to process the holes, process the perimeter, and process circles. And I will. Well, I'm not sure if I need to process the holes. Let's see. Yeah. If you process just the circles, it won't work. But if you just process the holes, it will work. Okay. So, um, my depth here, since it's a final pass, I'm going to keep my depth to be pretty small. I get 4 millimeter. Well, we can do 6. Alright. Apply. So, uh, now I have um, a parse that will probably fly off if I, if I cut it. So uh, I need um, to see just the bottom, and I need a path, path dress up, oh, and I, I need to finish this first. I need path, path dress up, tag dress up. So I need to put in little tabs just to keep the part steady. Put two here two here and one here and one there. Now the size the height of the uh, of the tab yeah well of course can't be 13 millimeters so uh, we'll make it um, 4 millimeters um, and the um, the width I'll make it the width of the bit which is 4 millimeters and save that So as you can see, um, the path just omitted to cut whatever material in here. So let's see what the simulation does. Alright, so it appears the part has completed. Uh, there was no tab in here. Um, I found out it wasn't a problem for my machine. So it doesn't matter if this part flies off. Um, it won't damage the cutter and wood. So what I have to do now is um, export the uh, uh, do a post process to make sure that uh, everything uh, is sent to my CNC so uh, the directory and the file I set already uh, save and now you can inspect your G code and it does a few things here uh, it says the machine not set millimeters per minute that's the uh, thing uh, the feed rate here is 400 for plunging and 1000 for cutting and everything seems to be okay I think you can add the things here so uh, if you want like um, G0 um, uh, Y0 and uh, X um, I guess 38 I want to reset my job for the next cut so um, the finish operation here okay okay should save it and now let's see um, 
Move the files. So all the all the things seems to be okay here. The feed rate and everything and yeah, the instruction I just put in the end is inserted. So I would invite you to verify the Slip Tonic YouTube channel. This person uh, is the one who explained the path to me with videos. The only thing is he didn't, in his video, he didn't do a job from from start to finish with the G-code because he demonstrates a lot of um, a lot of uh, different uh, techniques and features so please go check him check him out and, um, and subscribe if you like this kind of video thank you very much there are more videos to come so please subscribe